Hey everyone, it's Angelique, also known as Delight. Welcome to my channel. Please stop what you're doing and click like on this video, share it, subscribe, stay a while. You like chosen one videos, I have narcissistic videos on here, some zodiac videos, um, spiritual experiences. If you're into that, stay on the channel. Um, what's next? Oh yes, thank you to everyone who gave me birthday gift um, financial blessing last month, still coming in this month. Thank you to everyone who donates every month. Thank you to ones who just started donating to me. I don't wanna call any names out. You know who you are, y'all were all women. I never really, I don't receive donations from men. I noticed that, which is very weird. So thank you to my queens. Thank you to my fellow goddesses out there who financially show me love. I really, really appreciate you. Um, I'm not saying I never, ever received a donation from a man, but 90% of the women, of the people on my channel who donate to me are from women. So my queen, y'all look out for me. Thank you so much, okay? If you want me to continue to put out videos, when I get donations is when I'm going to be posting. If not, you're going to be seeing a lot of my TikTok videos <laughs> over here. Um, but I realize my worth and putting out videos all the time, not receiving the views, not receiving the phone session bookings, not receiving the donations that support me. Um, so my 30 minute videos and my three minute videos get the same amount of views so which one you think i'm going to be doing exactly but anyway um let's get into the video i feel like i've said this before but i feel like i need to say this again okay because i've been getting clients that are talking about this and my birthday was august 15th and i experienced this recently and i'm more of a harsh coach i am a spiritual life coach and I'm more harsh. So if you don't like tough love, then I'm not the coach for you. So I'm more of a tough love um, person, friend, lover, uh, relative, um, and I am a um, tough love coach. So what I wanna say to you is that they don't give a damn about the chosen one's birthday. Okay, they don't give a damn about your accomplishments. They don't give a damn about um, your interests. They don't give a damn. And you gotta get that through your mind, okay? And I keep hearing this story over and over and over again. And I have to embed that in my friends, my clients, myself. And people who don't like you, people who are jealous of you can't celebrate you. Okay, um, you have to think about it. You have to have a certain level of likeness or kindness or you have to care. Yeah, there's strangers out there who do nice things for people's birthday. Oh, it's your birthday. Well, let me pay for a drink for you. You know, you got to care somewhat or you, maybe that person could be feeding their ego. Who knows? But I'm talking about your relatives your friends, your lovers. You have to think about it. Why is it that your birthday has come up, chosen one, and they made no plans for you? But when it's their birthday, they're on it. They're planning, they're inviting people, they're asking you to be there, they want you to support them. It's all about them, right? With their birthday events, with other events, their accomplishments, things that are going on in the life. They got married, they had kids. You got to roll out the red carpet for everyone else. The chosen one is always supporting people, always celebrating people, but you never get celebrated. When is it going to click? You ever thought about why people don't celebrate you? No, you just focus that they don't. But you need to really dig to the root of it all. They don't like you. They don't like you. So people don't like chosen ones because in their mind, you're too perfect. You're too perfect. Chosen ones are the blueprint of what people probably would want to be or they think is perfection or 
um, is a blueprint of a genuine person. See, I don't like to be dark, so to say. I don't like to think of that darkness, but there's a lot of entities on this planet. There's a lot of demonic people on this planet. There's a lot of darkness. You surround it. And um, unfortunately, I think because when you're the chosen one, you're going to come across more darkness sometimes, more broken people, more jealous people, more insecure people than the average individual. I mean, still keep a positive mindset, but when you're the chosen one, you're going to get the sick that comes around you that's trying to steal your light, that's trying to throw you off track. So. I think chosen ones have more experiences with negativity, more negative individuals, right? So most chosen ones' families don't accept them. Their, fan, their family, their friends, their lovers, they don't understand you. You're weird. You're awkward. They don't get you. You're nothing like them. See, they have this slave mentality. They don't beat to their... They don't beat to um, the sound of their own drum, but the chosen one does. The chosen one doesn't <laughs> need to think about what everyone else is thinking about. The chosen one doesn't do what everyone else is doing. The chosen one is just being. But everyone else is following everyone else. Everyone else needs validation from everyone else, but the chosen one is not like that. So they don't like you because you don't fall in line like a soldier your family thinks you're weird they like who is this your lovers don't understand you they see your power <laughs> they're very attracted to you because you um you're different but when they get to know you they they feel less than and this is why your family and friends don't don't celebrate you because they have that light, they're genuine, they are someone I wish I could be, but it's just not in me. They're saying this to themselves. They're looking at you like, yeah, she thinks she all that, he thinks he all that, no one's that nice. That's why they get closer to the chosen ones because they really want to see, are they really that nice? Are they really, I don't believe it. But the chosen ones really are genuine. The chosen ones really do have a pure heart. They're going to second guess. We're not perfect. Because we be wanting to do some stuff. But our guilt and how God has built us normally stops us before we do something crazy. We make bad decisions too like everyone else. But we have this system in us that is like a guilty thing, right? So they see all of this about you. That's why most of them, they know, they see your light before the chosen one sees his own light. Other people saw that. That's why they were treating you like that since you was a kid. You had no idea who you were. So they didn't like you since you was a kid. Your family didn't like you since you was a child. Now you're grown, you're accomplishing things, your birthday comes up, your wedding comes up, your, your kids, you're, you're having kids. They're not going to support you. They're not going to celebrate you. They're just not. In their mind, they're going, I don't want to see that chosen one happy. I don't want to celebrate the chosen one. I don't want to give good energy to the chosen one because they're who I wish I can be. I'm going to withhold. People naturally withhold love attention, affection, motivation, celebration from the chosen ones. They're not trying to give you that. They're not trying to acknowledge who you are. Celebrate your life. Yeah, right. So I hear a lot of chosen ones like, my birthday is coming up. Nobody is saying anything. They didn't plan anything for me. They're not planning nothing for you, chosen one. Mm -mm. Nope. Mm -mm. So my birthday was August 15th, right? And I'm going to say the last 
three birthdays. So let's say 2020, 2021, and now 2022. Throw it in the trash. Okay? I want to throw those three birthdays in the trash. They were a waste of time. Okay? And you have these experiences, or I had these experiences where I, I, I finally get it. I get it. And it's proof every year. So 2020, I ended up going to Miami um, with someone. I'm not going to say who it was, but I ended up going to Miami with somebody. And the entire trip was like, I could have went by myself. This girl stayed on the phone with her man, who was actually cheating on her, stayed on the phone the entire time, calling other friends, um, like ignoring me basically the entire trip. It's my birthday. She pays the bill. Then we go somewhere else and she's like, well, I paid earlier. Can you pay this bill? I'm like, so basically you didn't pay for me if you're trying to have me pay this bill. It, it was crazy. That birthday was crazy. At the time I was dating someone, I ended up having to call him to calm me down. It was a freaking hot ass mess. I should have went alone. Then when she saw that, you know, my boo at the time had sent me money, you know, for my birthday, then she went to turn around and say, well, my man just sent me money. It was insane. It was insane. Okay. 2021, I go out to dinner with a couple of female friends and I had been feeling horrible. I was really depressed in 2021. And I said, no, let me celebrate my birthday. Let me still go out. I went out with these girls and it was like a dead silence at the table. And I remember like looking around in the restaurant and people are like having like the lights and you know they had um their friends are sending them bottles and shots and you know they're singing happy birthday to them they're celebrating they're rejoicing their friend whoever birthday it was but at my table it was dead they had nothing to talk about they're silent these people don't want to celebrate you it's agonizing for them to celebrate you. Because you know what? A lot of times, these people that you're around, no one celebrates them because they're trash at relationships. They're trash at building concrete relationships with people because they're not as genuine as the chosen one. So when I think to all these people who were at that table, they're horrible at friendships. They don't have friends. They barely have friends. The lovers that they deal with don't even take them out on their birthday. I always have people that, um, it may not be a lot, but I always have people that do want to do something for me. But for some reason, I end up being around the people who don't want to celebrate me pretty much. So this year, again, had a birthday dinner, went out with a couple of girls, same thing. I'm looking around the restaurant, people sending their friends bottle service, people sending them a shot. You know, they got the sparklers going, they're singing happy birthday, they're hugging their friend. They're... I didn't get none of that. There was a girl that came to my birthday dinner. I had not seen this girl in maybe about three or four years. We're not even close friends. When the bill came, everyone's scrambling around like they ain't got no money, like they broke, or they didn't want, they didn't even want to pay for my food and drinks, guys. Okay. The girl that I haven't seen in four years says, "Oh, don't worry about it. I got her. You should have seen their faces. They're like, what? What? Over a hundred dollar bill for me? She's like, yeah, I got her." That pisses them off. You know why? Because they don't have nobody to do that for them. People see how the chosen ones are loved. So don't act like chosen ones are not loved. We are loved. But we're mostly loved by strangers. Not by our family. Not by our friends or our man or our woman. No. It's strangers. 
I get more love from my YouTube family or my TikTok family than I do for my own flesh and blood. I can't even tell you the last time that my only sibling took me out for my birthday or gave me anything. You know what he does every year? He puts a card in the mailbox. So this year when his birthday comes, right? He puts a card in the mailbox that goes to Angie from so-and-so. No, hey sis, I love you. You know, I hope you have an amazing year. Have no, because he's not doing it from a place of love. He don't want to celebrate me. He won't even take me to Applebee's. They don't want you to be happy. They don't want to celebrate you. They want you to be miserable on your birthday. But a couple of years ago, I tried. I took him to a concert on his birthday. Oh, you want to go to the Erica Badu concert? I'll take you to the concert. And when I took him to the concert, he complained about the seats. Hmm, interesting. So even when you try to do and you try to show these people love, because they know how they truly feel about you, so they be feeling kind of guilty or they be feeling some kind of way when the chosen one do want to show them love and is trying to build with them because they know they secretly hate you. Your own family secretly hates you. So they feel uncomfortable because they're like, look at this stupid girl. Look at this stupid dude trying to celebrate me on my birthday, trying to do something nice for me. They don't even know. I don't even like their ass. I finally understood. I finally got it. My own sibling don't like me. So this year, I didn't even text him for his birthday. Oh, they, they don't like that. They feel that. <laughs> they don't like that because you're, you're showing them the mirror. So now I match energy when it comes to that. Yeah, he texts me for my birthday still, you know. Said, oh, I'm out of town. I'm on vacation. I was on vacation on his birthday back in March, you know, but oh, I said, you know what? I'm going to celebrate people who celebrate me. I'm going to celebrate people who love me. Stop paying attention to the people who don't celebrate you. Why do y'all do that? Why do I, why do I do that? Don't get distracted with people who don't like and love you. You get caught up. It's a distraction. That's why them dark entities are getting pushed out to you so you can be distracted. Focus on who loves you and likes you. Focus on the love energy mm -hmm. that you're receiving, even from strangers. But they don't give a damn about your birthday, chosen one. <laughs> they really don't. They don't even care if you're dead or alive, to be honest with you. They don't. People show you how they truly feel about you. And I keep hearing chosen ones making these excuses. So I have this associate, 40th birthday, I think it's today. I already took her out for happy hour this week. And she was supposed to have a brunch this, this weekend. She texts me yesterday and says... Oh, my family canceled my brunch. Why? I don't know the full story, but it's very weird. It's your 40th birthday and they canceled your brunch. They told her, oh, um, maybe the end of the month, we can join you and another family member's birthday together. What? And this is the stuff that happens to chosen ones. I'm not really sure if she's a chosen one, but this is the type of things that happen to chosen ones. They're trying to join. Her birthday's this week, not the 21st. Why are you trying to join her birthday with someone else's birthday? Because that's what they think of you. And she, she keeps making excuses. Oh, me and my sister was just doing good. I said... How y'all doing good when she canceled your birthday dinner, your birthday brunch? Huh? It's an illusion. Y'all be thinking y'all on good terms with people. You're not. No, you're just cruising in the abuse. That's what it is. 
You think because there's no argument. Sorry about the dog in the background. Neighbor's dog is wilding out. You think because you're cruising, like I say, say autopilot in the abuse. You think because there's no arguments going on, you and this abuser is fine. No, they still don't like you. And how you find out that they really don't like you is when the important days come up. Now you know. Okay? And yeah, there's going to be some people who say, well, I didn't grow up in a home where people made a big deal about my birth date. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Even if people grew up in a home where they wasn't celebrated, they can at least say happy birthday to someone. I'm very sure. Okay? Um, I did grow up in a home where my birthday was a big deal. I don't expect people to do backflips for my birthday. You can show up or don't show up. But on my birthday, it's funny. I went through my story on Instagram because I wanted to see who was watching my page, right? Watching my account on my birthday while I'm posting my birthday post. These people were watching. I've known these people for 10, 15, 20 years. They was watching my story. You mean to tell me you see it's my birthday? You're stalking my page and you don't even say, hey girl, happy birthday, and you have my number? Block, block, block. I blocked all of them. I was on my birthday blocking people. Block, block, block. These people are crazy. They like to watch the chosen one, but they're not going to give you love. They're not going to celebrate you. Because in their head, they like, Psh. She gets, she gets attention or he gets attention already. I'm not about to tell them happy birthday. I'm not showing up to their birthday dinner. It is so agonizing for people to be around the chosen one because they're so filled with light. <laughs> I feel so dark. I feel like I'm worth nothing. Oh, people don't celebrate me. Matter of fact, they can have people who celebrate them. I know people who have, I don't have family. Half my family is dead. I ain't got no man. I ain't got no family. I barely have any friends. I am, I have myself and a creator. And I'm still happier than a lot of people who have children and husbands and wives and family. They get the parties. They get the love. They get the celebration. But when my birthday comes up, they're like, oh, I can't make it. But then... I see them on social media. They at other people's birthday parties. This is how twisted it is, chosen one. I know it's very hard to comprehend. But why wouldn't my parents do this for me? They don't like you, baby. They don't like you. They don't. They don't get... Your birthday is a regular day. They don't give a damn. <laughs> they don't give a damn. So this was my last year. I don't think I will ever do a birthday dinner, okay? I don't think so. Next year will be my 40th birthday. I want to be either in Paris or Aruba um, or where else I wanted to go. I forgot what's on my lips. I think Ghana or somewhere like that. I'm going to celebrate myself, okay? You don't need that outside validation. You don't need people to celebrate you. Yes, it feels good. But until you meet your soul tribe, don't take the crumbs, don't take the abuse, don't take the scraps. It's not worth it, okay? It's not worth it. That is the message. Get it through your head. They don't give a damn about your birthday. Not just birthdays. Any accomplishment any piece of happiness that the chosen one has going on in their life, they're not going to celebrate you. People who are jealous of you, people who want to be in your position, people who wish they had your spiritual light, will never celebrate you. You got to be able to comprehend that, okay? People are always constantly showing you how they truly feel about you. And I want y'all to pay attention to this. Don't make excuses for these people. They don't care. They don't like you. They don't care. 
um, they don't give a damn about your birthday. All right. Thank you for watching. Please get this through your head. Celebrate yourself. Celebrate and be thankful for the people that do show you love and who do love you. Even if it's strangers. I am so thankful for you all because y'all show me love. All right. Some of y'all gave me birthday donations, birthday gifts, and I don't even receive that from family. So that means a lot to me. I may not show emotions. It's very hard for me to show emotions because of how I grew up. It was always I was I always had to hold back my emotions and my feelings were never um, validated. <laughs> Growing up as a kid, being a, you know being raised by a narcissist, so don't ever think that I'm not appreciative of you guys. I really really am. It's just hard for me to show that emotion, and I'm a Capricorn rising too. I'm very stone faced, okay, but my heart is filled with so much joy and when i am alone i cry <laughs> all right guys thank you for watching be encouraged celebrate yourself get used to being your own best friend get used to being your own family get used to understanding that is you and the creator riding this life out okay it is a lonely path being the chosen one but it is rewarding spiritually rewarding it's a spiritually rewarding for me and i always hear a lot of people say they don't want to be the chosen one then let go don't do the spiritual work i don't feel god is going to force you to live this life do what you want to do you have a choice i don't know what the consequences will be of you letting go um but i don't feel god forces you to live this life but if I went through all of that already, I would rather just continue to walk in the chosen one path, okay? Um, but yes, they're not going to celebrate you. Don't forget to get the donations in. Don't forget to make your phone booking sessions. If you need help starting your spiritual journey, you have spiritual questions for me, um, you have questions on the chosen one path, you have questions on narcissism, I still... Um, do phone sessions with people who live with narcissists who are dealing with narcissistic abuse i still work with people who are uh, experiencing that type of abuse all that information is always in my description bar and in the comment section you don't see it comment at me i will reply to you you may not see me post many videos this month i'm calling this month silent september where i feel like when you get into silence you're able to hear things spiritually you're able to heal you're able to receive spiritual downloads and there's something very powerful about silence don't share all your business with people um don't sit on the phone gossiping with your friends or you know uh don't post much on social media get quiet get with the creator get with yourself meditate and listen listen to your next steps that you need to do um i think we need to be more quiet now so i'm not going to be posting that much in september and if i do it's going to be more of my tiktok videos all right peace and blessings have an amazing week have an amazing september love you guys bye